I'd like to call to order the May 16, 2023 regular meeting of Mentor City Council. Invocation will be given by myself. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Help us to use good judgment for the business at hand and guide us in a wisdom with a continuing sense of truth and fairness for the community we represent. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan. Here. Mrs. Dowling. Here. Mr. Freeman. Here. Mr. Kirshner. Here. Mr. Krieger. Here. Mr. Barn. Here. Mr. Blake. Here. Council, in your receipt of the May 2nd, 2023 regular meeting minutes. Move to approve. Second. Julie, please call the roll. <clears throat> Mr. Donovan. Yes. Mrs. Dowling. Yes. Mr. Freeman. Yes. Mr. Kirshner. Yes. Mr. Krieger. Yes. Mr. Marn. Yes. Mr. Blake. Yes. Tabled legislation. We have none. New legislation. Oh, public hearings. I'm sorry. We have none. Tabled legislation. We have none. New legislation. Ordinance number 23-0-044. An ordinance to revise the codified ordinances of the city of Manor 2006 as amended by adopting current replacement pages and declaring an emergency. Mr. Zeman. Yes, thank you, Mr. President, members of council. This is part of our periodic uh, updates to harmonize our local ordinances, both criminal and traffic, with revisions uh, to state code. Uh, if there's any specific questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, a lot of these are, frankly, our housekeeping, changes to terminology, uh, some other types of enhancements. Nothing, nothing probably too noteworthy to call out, but, uh, again, happy to answer any specific questions you have. I do recommend adoption. Council, any questions? Move to suspend. Second. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirchner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Marn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Move to approve. Second. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirshner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Marn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Ordinance number 23-0-044 is approved. Ordinance number 23-0-045. An ordinance to authorize transfers of funds, advances of funds, and revisions to appropriations and declaring an emergency. Mr. Flipiak. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Malinowski, please. Thank you, Mr. Filipiak. Members of Council, this ordinance simply does uh, three things. Firstly, it authorizes a temporary cash advance out of the city's general fund to cover the city uh, portion of a uh, state grant uh, known as the Nature Works Grant. And then secondly, there uh, is an authorization for a $100,000 temporary cash advance uh, to fund the uh, additional cost of the cemetery promenade project. And thirdly, the uh, appropriate uh, appropriations are also included for that same amount. I would recommend approval. Thank you. Council? Who dispense? Second. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirchner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Barn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Who do approve? Second. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirchner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Barn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Ordinance number 23-0-045 is approved. Ordinance number 23-0-046. An ordinance amending the codified ordinances of the City of Manor 2006 as amended, section 1155.010, to add service station as a conditional use in the M1 Light Manufacturing District. Council? <clears throat> Moves to suspend. Second. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? No. Mr. Freeman? No. Mr. Kirshner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Barn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Move to approve. Oh, oh sorry. It's it's six. Six. It's didn't. It didn't make it? No. Okay. No. Didn't make it. Need six. It needed six? Mm hmm It needed, okay, it needed. Okay. Second reading. Second reading? You got a call for it, correct? Well, no, it'll go to second reading. It'll go to second? Okay. Correct, Mr. Zeman? Yes, sir. Okay. Order number 23-0-046 will go to second reading. <coughs> Mr. President, can I make a comment on that? Mr. Uh, Craig, go ahead. Some people said, or some indication was that they like to see it go through the process 
and I'm a little confused by that because the process is that this came to council and then council gives it to planning for their thoughts or recommendations then from planning it goes to council again which would be the final step and either council accepts or rejects that recommendation so to me that would be the final step and we are following the process okay unless I'm wrong Mr. Zeman, that's the process, correct? Uh, yes, I, I uh, not to, uh, um, uh, you know, go go through the uh, the uh, complete uh, hearing that the um, planning commission conducted. Uh, I believe those comments were in reference by some members of the planning commission. Obviously, I'll defer to their record and their minutes uh, with respect to, you know, perhaps properties. Uh, it would be more appropriate for them to be rezoned to a to a district, you know, which potentially would allow this use. So I think that was the context of, of those comments from some members of the Planning Commission. Mr. Krieger, are you saying you wanted to vote on this tonight? Is that what No, I just wanted to point out that I heard that the, we should follow the process, and I thought we were. And in the past, we have had recommendations from the Planning Commission, mm -hmm. which we have not accepted, and some of which we have accepted. Correct. And to me, that is the process. I understand why some people think we're not following the process. I feel we're following the process. Okay. Thank you. Um, third readings, we have none. Manager's report. Mr. Flipiak. Thank you, Mr. President, Council. Uh, Council, we have two requests for uh, open cuts, pavement cuts. The first is at 7185 Maple Street at the request of Marut and Sons excavating for a new six inch sanitary sewer connection. Ask for your approval. Thank you, sir. Move to approve. Second. <coughs> Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan. Yes. Mrs. Stalling. Yes. Mr. Freeman. Yes. Mr. Kirshner. Yes. Mr. Krieger. Yes. Mr. Marn. Yes. Mr. Blake. Yes. Thank you, Council. The second is a request is from uh, In Situ Form Technologies, on behalf of Lake County uh, Department of Utilities for the sanitary sewer lining rehab project happening in our city. They're requesting three locations for an open cut: uh, one on Lakeshore Boulevard, one on Hopkins Road, and one on Sarah Court. We have reviewed these and believe it was necessary for the work to proceed. Council? Vote to approve. Second. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirchner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Marn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Just to comment on that, that is an alternative to digging up the complete road and following the sewer and tearing up roads and front yards and streets. It's a liner process. You're opening up three different, maybe four different spots. They blow a liner into the sanitary sewer and they and they blow it up and it turns into a brand new sewer. It's 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 pretty reasonable and very saves us a lot of road blockage and dug and up roads and, and millions of dollars. And millions and of dollars. It's a, it's a good process. It's a great yeah, very much so. Thank you, Council. Uh, the Lake County Department of Utilities provides residents an opportunity to recycle a wide range of materials, including appliances, electronics, tires, and household hazardous waste. This is the time of the year where people start to clean out garages and that and find some of those nasty things. So if you uh, are interested in what they have to offer, please refer to their website for more information or contact the Mentor Department of Public Works. In 1962, President John Kennedy proclaimed May 15th as National Peace Officers Memorial Day and the calendar week in which May 15th falls as National Police Memorial Week. This year, the Mentor Police Department is remembering and commemorating all those who died in the line of duty from May 14th through May 21st. Our officers will be wearing black mourning bands during this period and will be sending a contingent of officers uh, to participate in the memorial parade in downtown Cleveland on uh, Friday, May 19th. Council, all of the asphalt road repairs uh, have been made in the city to date for this year. A punch list is currently being prepared and concrete work continues in the city. Uh, we were really uh, very pleased with the successful ribbon cutting yesterday of our Springbrook Garden House at Springbrook Gardens Park. We also had a, a very good attendance at the first uh, uh, open public opening of that, so open house from 12 to 2. A lot of people were able to filter through there, and the response was overwhelmingly positive on that. Uh, Springbrook Garden House will also have open houses scheduled for Thursday, May 25th from 4 to 8 p.m. and on Saturday, May 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
and the Springer Garden House will be available for rentals beginning June 1st. Now we will begin taking reservations for that facility uh, next Monday, May 27th, 22nd rather, yeah. beginning at 8 a.m. And it'll be on a first come, first serve basis. And like all reservations in the city, uh, you have to be, uh, appear in person to make the reservation at our recreation department, which is now located at 6000 Heisley Road at the new recreation center. So um, for information on the rates and terms, you can contact the Metro Parks and Recreation Department. That information is all po also posted on the city's website and also uh, at parks at cityofmentor.com, which will take you directly to that section of the website. We will be reaching out ahead of time to those people who have contacted us uh, in advance of us taking reservations to let them know that, again, nothing is locked in at this point. So if they are ready to stand in line on next Monday morning, they can, if they're the first ones, they'll get the first pick. All the terms in terms of the rates and um, the required uh, <clears throat> blocks of time that are required for the different days of the week are also located on that uh, on our website as well. So. Um, we've had a lot of interest so far, and I think it's going to be a very successful facility going forward. And finally, Council, we have two new businesses to announce today. Great Stuff Warehouse at 7850 Menor Avenue and Natural Soap Lab at 7877 Menor Avenue. So we thank them for their investment, uh, and we wish them great success going forward. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Flopiak. Mr. President, I'd just like to make a comment. Um, it was a pretty exciting week in Menor this week. Last Friday night, uh, Councilman Blake and I had the privilege of attending the art show on the first and second floor, and it was very impressive. As someone that cannot draw a straight line, I was very impressed, and it was really a nice reception. And I feel guilty. I never had attended it before, so I was glad that we were invited. Secondly, um, I think on the day that we start taking reservations for that, I think we're going to have a traffic jam on Heisley, on Heisley Road. We might want to be prepared for that because the requests have been unbelievable and the feedback has. Um, I have to say that facility far exceeded any expectations that I had. And I want to commend you because had things gone wrong, <laughs> you would have heard differently. But when they went right, and it, it, it's perfect. I can't think of a thing that I would change in that building. It's awesome, and I think the residents are really going to utilize it. So I think we need to be prepared to be overwhelmed. I think when we did the programs for the children for the summer, our phones were off the hook that day, but if they have to be in person, someone may have to direct traffic. And, and the reason that, thank you, Councilwoman, for that, um, it was uh, a collaborative effort from, from a lot of folks, and uh, one of the benefits of some of those projects not starting exactly as you anticipate that as you go along you think you have different ideas about how to make the project better and that I think that was definitely the case case with Springbrook Gardens um, the reason that we require our reservations in person is because we do fill, ask people to fill out forms and to commit to those dates when they when they come to sign up so they'll actually have to sign documents and they have a period of time to put a deposit down but all those things are explained when they make the reservation. I think it's going to be very popular. I think so as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dowling. Clerk's correspondence? Nothing to report. Nothing. Commission and committee reports. Council in receipt of the Community Arts Commission February 2nd, 2023, March 2nd, 2023, and April 6th, 2023. Board of Building and Zoning Appeals April 11th, 2023, and the Municipal Planning Commission April 13th, 2023. Old business, we have done new business. Mr. President, Mr. Krager. I'd like to nominate Kathy Miller to be appointed to the unexpired term of December 31st, 2023 on the Board of Building and Zoning Appeals. Second. Council? Uh, Council? Any other, Julie, any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Council? Call the roll, Julie. Yes. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mr. Stalling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirchner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Marn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Kathy, congratulations. Kathy's sitting out in the audience. Right? Kathy, congratulations. Right. <laughs> Thanks for putting in your application. Appreciate it. 
First of before council, we have none, correct? We have none. Do we? New that was new business. Any other new business? Nope. First is before council, we have none. Mr. President? Mr. Martin? I have in front of me a written executive session motion this time. To adjourn in the executive session pursuant to revised code section 121.22 G3 to conference with legal counsel regarding pending and threatened litigation. Counsel? Second. Billy, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirshner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Marn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. President, I would move that we go back into regular council session. Second. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Excuse me, Mrs. Dowling? Well, she didn't make it back yet. Okay. Um, Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirchner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Marn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. <laughs> Mr. President? Mr. Marn. We have a, a second meeting in June coming up on June 20th. Okay. And I move to not have that meeting that night to to a lack of agenda number one and number two we have a big grand opening in Cleveland Clinic at the same exact time. Julie. Julie, please call the roll. Sorry. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirshner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Marn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. The meeting Mr. is canceled. Mr. President, I would move to authorize Attorney Jen Phillips to elect mediation in the pending EEOC claim against the City of Menor. Second. Julie, please call the roll. Mr. Donovan? Yes. Mrs. Dowling? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Mr. Kirshner? Yes. Mr. Krieger? Yes. Mr. Marn? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Mr. President, I move to adjourn. Second. Meetings adjourned.